Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we will create a placement indicator and I would highly suggest you should develop the same project alongside the course. Let's delete the cube further. We don't need it. And now it's time to create a quad for the indicator placement. These are the primitive object types that can be created directly within Unity, such as cube, sphere, capsule, blender, plane and quad. This is a simple cube with sides one unit long, textures so that the image is repeated on each side of six faces. It is also a handy placeholder object for programmers to use during development when a finished model is not yet available. This is the sphere of unit diameter, textured so that the entire image wraps around once the top and bottom pinched at the poles. Sphere are obviously useful for representing balls, planets and projectiles. Capsule is basically a cylinder with a round shape on both ends. This is a simple cylinder which is two unit high and one unit is diameter. Texture so that the image wraps once around the tube shape of body but also appears separately in two flat circular ends. This is a flat square with edges 10 unit long oriented in the XG plane of the local coordinate space. It is taxed so that the whole image appears exactly once within the square. The quad primitive resembles a plane, but its edges are only one unit long and its surface is oriented in the XY plane of the local coordinate space. Also, a quad is divided into two, just two triangles, whereas the plane contains 200. A quad is useful in case where a scene object must be used simply as a display screen for an image or movie. Simple GUI and the information displays can be implemented with quads, as can particle sprites images that substitute for solid object viewed at distance. Rename it to indicate replacement, or you can write any name. To utilize in AR, we will rescale it to X is 0.15, Y is 0.15, and Z is also 0.15. And next, we will be creating a parent game object for placement indicator. I have renamed this and the indicator will be the child and placement indicator gonna be a parent of indicator. Something like this. It's time to import the image for placement indicator. Just drag and drop it. Click on the image and change its texture type to the sprite. These are the properties available to configure the various texture types in Unity in the Texture Inspector window. Default is the most common texture type used for all textures. It provides access to most of the properties for texture importing. In our case, Sprite 2D and UI. If you are using a texture in 2D games as a sprite, with this texture type, the texture shape property is always set to 2D for this texture type. It's best fit for our game because we are going to display a placement indicator as a 2D image. In the material folder, create a new material, name it as placement indicator, and we will assign our recently imported sprite to this material. And we will assign this material to the quad. On the placement indicator material, we have a standard shader, and we're going to apply this sprite to the material. And now we're going to change the standard shader to the sprite. Before going further, let's see what is a shader. Basically the computer graphics, especially the 3D graphics, uses many different kinds of information to construct our visuals like meshes, textures, lights, and so on. That information passes to the graphics hardware, which can process the image and display it on the screen. Rendering is what the programmer calls the process for generating an image. And shader are the short programs that render graphics data. Basically, a shader is a program that takes meshes, textures as an input and generate an image as output. There are many type of shaders, but I will discuss them in detail in separate lecture. So now we have a visible change on the quad. Now it's time to create our very first script. Let's create a new script and name it as place object on plane. I would highly recommend you should also write the code with me and you can pause the video wherever you need and can take a look on the code. We will be adding these libraries to utilize the major classes of AR foundation and AR subsystem. And here you can see a list of different classes that can be utilized under AR foundation. In this course, if you have any question or query regarding anything, I will be available for the answers.
we have defined a public game object name as placement indicator to assign our placement indicator to it and whenever we need we can activate or deactivate and other private variables to know the exact position where we need to place the placement indicator place object on plane is a class name class name and script name should be the same placement indicator is a game object type the game object of placement indicator that we have already created we will assign that game object to this variable we have made it public to expose it in unity editor so we can assign the placement indicator we have a placement pose of type pose it's a representation of position and rotation in 3D space. This structure is used primarily in XR application to describe the current position of device in 3D space. And placement transform will be used to change the position of placement indicator. Placement position is valid. It's a boolean type. It will hold true or false. We will be updating this variable when we will recast on the detected surfaces. At that point, we will check do we have a valid surface point. If we have a valid surface point, then we will update and show our placement indicator on the wall. Otherwise, we will stop updating the indicator. Place plane ID is a type of trackable ID. It can be used to hold a unique identifier for plane or for the feature point. Raycast manager is a type of AR Raycast manager. It allows you to determine where a ray intersect with the trackables. Trackables means the detected surfaces in the real world. The current raycast interface only tests against planes and points in the point cloud. The raycast interface is similar to the one in the Unity physics module. But since AR trackables don't necessarily have a presence in the physics world, AR Foundation provided a separate interface for it. S underscore hits is a list and it will be holding our data of AR raycast hits. A wake is called when the script instance is being loaded. Unity calls a wake only once during a lifetime of script instance. Using get component, we are getting a raycast manager and assigning it to raycast manager variable. Later on, we will be adding a raycast manager to this game object. Update is called every frame if the mono behavior is enabled. Update is most commonly used function to implement any kind of game script. We will be creating a these two methods to update and reposition the placement indicator. In the update placement position, we are getting the center of the screen using viewport to screen point to cast a ray. For the ray casting in the second line, we are using a ray cast manager. In the third parameter, we are checking in the real world if there is a plane detected, it will return the position of that plane. Here is an overall look of this method. To study more about these things, I will be sharing a link with this lecture. The above method gives us the position of placement indicator in the real world, and next method will be used to place the indicator at that position here we are testing if the placement position is valid if it's valid we are activating the placement indicator using dot set active and also setting the position and rotation of the indicator we are making placement position is valid true or false in our first method by checking is there any plane detected or not Click on AR Session Manager and add a component of AR Ray Cast Manager to cast a ray in AR. And next assign place object on plane to the AR session or region. And now assign the placement indicator to place object on the plane. By default, we will be disabling the placement indicator because we are enabling it via our script place object on the plane. And let's see what we got in this lecture build. So now we are scanning the room and so we have our placement indicator. It's right in the center of the screen. In this demo, we can see how placement indicator repositioning itself and rotating according to the planes detecting in the room. To change the look of this placement indicator or this marker, you just need to change one image. Here you can see how smoothly it's repositioning and rotating itself. It looks good. Thanks for watching, and I see you.